Uh, we've just bought the uh, Moonfleet White Satan into the workshop so we can have a quick run through and a look at what we're going to need to do to convert it to electric propulsion. We're going to be using the Waterworld 4 kilowatt motor and controller and uh, a couple of hyperdrive 48 volt lithium batteries. So uh, our willing volunteer John Barnes is just around the corner. I'm going to grab him and we'll have a quick look at what we've got here and what we're going to need to do to strip out the 414 of petrol engine. Oh, he's arrived. Just like, just like Mr. Ben. Um, so we'll get the cover off and uh, we'll have a quick look at what we're, what we're faced with. Okay. Okay, so we've got our drone launched. So thank you for uh, the aerial photograph, Mark. Um, right, so currently the boat's fitted with a 1500cc Ford 14 petrol engine uh, with some rather interesting uh, attachments for the crankcase breather and an interesting intake manifold. Um, it's a direct drive with just a clutch, so no gearbox. Uh, and I don't know whether the camera can pick it out, but we've got the clutch is actuated by the handbrake lever just under the front floor here. Um, and then I'm guessing we've got some cooling arrangement somewhere, so we'll have a bit of a delve and see what we can find on, on that side of things. Okay, let's have a bit of a look see. Okay, so we've got a uh, heat exchanger here. So I'm presuming one side of it has got the seawater circuit or freshwater circuit, and then the other is the engine coolant. Looking back here, it looks like the, uh, the um, larger diameter pipe is piped up to the engine coolant pump. And then we've got some smaller diameter pipe, which looks like it's trailing through to the front of the engine. And there's a, a small little impeller pump mounted on the, on the front of the engine there. So um, that will be driving the, uh, the, the seawater side of things. So none of this is required because the water world motor is, is air cooled. So we don't need any of this heat exchanger. We don't need any of that pipe work and we don't need the fuel tank so I think we will take the fuel tank out have a little bit of a look see at how all of that um, what space that gives us and then we can start to think about where we're going to potentially locate the batteries um, clearly the motor is going to be going in place of the uh, of the petrol engine here but we're not quite sure yet where we're going to fit the two uh, the two lithium batteries so um, really the next job I guess is to get the boat in the corner underneath the, the hoist and start ripping out some of the um, some of the gear we're not going to need, principally the engine, fuel tank, heat exchanger, all of those bits and pieces. So we'll come back when we've got a little bit of progress.